While many of us have been hunkering down, sheltering at home during the early months of the pandemic, your San Luis Obispo County employees have not. My name is David Salas and I work for the tax collector's office. Today I am a box truck driver. Loading, unloading medical supplies and taking it to the alternative care site. Well, my name is Tina Ba and I work at the library in Cambria. So now I'm doing prescription deliveries around the county. I'm Ismail. My day job is a county weights and measures inspector. Today I'm delivering uh, groceries to uh, residents of the county. They all signed an oath when they signed on as county employees to respond in times of need as disaster service workers. I remember it being explained to me like if something happens at Diablo, you're running towards instead of away. Having a temperature, we want to know. If the emergency that called them all into service did come with threats to their health and safety, yet they willingly responded. I am packing food at the food bank. And out here at EOC Logistics, I'm an ordering manager. Now I am working at the medical supply warehouse. I kind of became the linen person. Now I'm working as a disaster service worker at Los Osos Library Safe Parking Shelter and also delivering food to San Luis Obispo area. From guaranteeing our county's most vulnerable have safe places to sleep, to coordinating, packing, and delivering groceries to those who should not be venturing out. Today from the North County site, we're gonna go um, out to California Valley, all the way up to Lake Nascimento, over to San Miguel, and out to Shandon. Your county employees have reported for duty, whatever duty assigned during this crisis. Emptying the trash, um, cleaning up the fire pits. Part of our mission is to keep our residents safe and also clean. I feed all the employees. People take their lunch, go back to their desk and keep on working. A librarian is now working as an admissions clerk in a hospital. That's just not something that people normally do. And so if this is what I've been, I'm being asked to do, I feel happy to do it. In every corner of our communities, to the power grid of the Emergency Operations Center, your public servants have stepped up. We have people doing so many different things, and everybody's just kind of getting into it and just doing what they have to do every day. It should be at 7, I'm here like 6.45, until 7.15 in the morning, 12 hour shift, stay awake all night. Many have faced their own financial, child care, and other COVID-19 stressors, and still honored their commitment to serve. Pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and go for it. But we're all coming together and we're all making it work. They are doing so with a new appreciation of their roles. It's the true meaning of the word public servant. And the communities they serve. We know that we're serving the public, but you really get a sense of how much it means to them, our jobs and what we do. And I, I think that makes us very lucky and very, as, as people that work for the community, that work for the county, but then also as the community to have such dedicated folks that are willing to put aside their lives to say, I'm here to help you, I'm here to serve you. I could say that I really enjoyed working for the county prior to this, but I didn't actually understand how well oiled this county is, how well they function, how much they care about the people in the community and how they have mobilized. And we should all have a new appreciation for their service as well.